HDMI ARC, you've probably seen it on your soundbar and your receiver, even your TV. Now, what does it mean and what does it do? Hi, my name's Jonah with the Home Theater DIY. Today, we're gonna go over HDMI ARC, how it works, what it does, what the pros and cons are, and should you be using it? It's mainly used with soundbars and receivers. So if you have your video devices plugged into your receiver or soundbar, this can be routing that video signal to the TV or projector. But let's say you have a smart TV and you're playing Netflix or Hulu on that TV. Well, without HDMI ARC, there's no way for that audio to get back to the soundbar or receiver. So what HDMI ARC does is it's routing that audio signal back through the same HDMI cable in the reverse direction. And that's how the audio gets from the TV to the soundbar or receiver. So before HDMI ARC, you had to run a digital optical, digital coax, or RCA cables from the TV or projector to the soundbar receiver. And that's how you would get the audio signal from one video device to the audio device. But because of HDMI ARC, you don't have to do that anymore. All the audio and video is sent through a single cable. So that's really nice and convenient for a lot of setups nowadays. So almost any HDMI cable is gonna work with HDMI ARC. As long as the cable is not like 20 years old, you should be perfectly fine. Something to note here, you need to make sure HDMI CEC is enabled on your TV or projector. Uh, sometimes HDMI CEC isn't enabled by default. So go to your, your video settings, look for HDMI CEC or consumer electronics control and make sure that option is enabled. So let's talk about some of the cons of audio delivery with HDMI ARC. One of the major limitations with HDMI ARC is that it doesn't support Dolby Atmos or DTSX sound environments. So if you have a 7.1.2 sound system, uh, that audio signal isn't gonna route back properly. It's gonna downgrade it to a compressed 5.1 signal. And if you're looking for the highest quality environment, it's really not gonna be the best choice for you. So to get around this and use the highest quality audio format, you're gonna have to connect all your devices to the soundbar or receiver. So if you have a Fire TV, Apple TV, Roku, if you're streaming from those, that device should connect directly to the soundbar or receiver and that way you're not losing those high quality audio formats. Now, something to note here, the audio that's coming from the TV, no matter what you do, is not gonna be a full 7.1 or 9.1 surround sound audio. It's gonna be compressed 5.1 because it's running over HDMI ARC, and there's just no way to get around that right now. So, if you want the highest quality audio possible, you'll need to make sure everything's connected to that soundbar or receiver. End of story there. There's no way around it right now. So for a quick demonstration, let's go look at the back of a soundbar and a receiver and look at the HDMI ARC ports on those. And let's also go on a TV and make sure we have the HDMI CEC option enabled. On a receiver, it's gonna be the HDMI out port, sometimes labeled monitor, but it should show ARC right there. With a soundbar, it's gonna be the only HDMI out port on the soundbar, also going to be labeled ARC. And with the TV, this will vary um, from model to model. Sometimes it's the first port, sometimes it's the second or third. So just make sure it says ARC next to the port you're plugging into. If your setup includes a high quality sound bar, such as like a Nakamichi Shockwave Pro, uh, go check out this video up here, right there. It's how to connect a sound bar to a TV. I go over all the different options available, whether you're using HDMI ARC, digital optical, digital coax, RCAs, auxiliary, and Bluetooth. So go check that out for all the pros and cons on each of those methods. And that's all we have for you today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments below. If you like the video, please click like and subscribe to the channel. We have more stuff coming to you soon. We'll see you next time. See ya.